That's it. I'm done. Wonderful. She just, just came back. She just came back. But working it out. Yeah, she's about to come. How's Eva? Eva doing good? Sorry, right here. Oh you can get through the cables here. Which no problem. All right. Uh, can I have uh, something to sit on? Uh, Trevor, just sit that your Do we have a half apple box? Hey, Kristen, can you keep looking at the images?
I think we must have it at this point. That's good, that's good, that's good. If you look a little bit tense.
So talk about that actually, because you've been everywhere this last since yeah, we talked about six months. I really have. I've been all around the world, from Japan to Australia, uh, Latin America, all over the States, UK, Europe, you name it. It's been a whirlwind. The album's doing well all over the world, so I'm thrilled. It's that, we, we, yeah. The Whiskers video was all starting. Everyone knew it was a great album. There was excitement was there. We knew the quality was there, but did you know it was going to be so huge and such a great... I had no idea, quite honestly, when Timbaland and I recorded Promiscuous in Miami about a year ago, we went, you know, this is a fun track, this is cool, maybe this will do well at the club, people will dance to it, and then all of a sudden it was like, you know, a phenomenon, and people had it on their ringtones, and there was like a million downloads, it was number one for nine weeks, ah, I was so happy. You walk into the movie theaters and there you're on the big screen with the ringtones too. That was a kick for me. Whoa, really up there. Yeah, we just really, uh, the song really dominated the summer. And it's nice to have a theme song like that. It's nice to have um, something that, you know, defines a summer or defines a moment for people, you know. Mm -hmm. And the song was rhythmic and fun. And I guess that's what connected. How special is that for you after, ha after having success? Is it okay? That's before this, and to have this all again so big. What was it like this time around? Because you, you know you know the ropes now. You know what. Yeah. The is. is it a whole different experience for you? You know, you know the drill. Yeah, this time was even better than the first time. You know, when my first album came out and all the the hoopla around that. This third album just feels great. I feel like I've really like arrived again. I feel like it's a brand new career for me. I feel like a whole new person. I'm a lot more mature. I'm a lot more professional. I'm enjoying myself. I'm having fun. <laughs> Talk about what, what the sales mean, the charts, the number ones, all that kind of stuff. Is that, how much of that do you pay attention to? How much of that is exciting? How much do people keep telling you? You know, it's amazing because, like, for instance, when Promiscuous got on the radio, you know, we found out that the phones were lighting up, people were requesting the song, girls, guys, everyone could relate to it, everyone loved moving to it. Mm -hmm. And so that felt good, you know? And yes, of course, I've never had the number one album. This is my first number one album, and it was number one in so many countries, and it just felt really great, you know? It was even sweeter, you know? To have my third album, you know, have this be embraced in this way. Yeah. What was it like yeah. with, with your family? What kind of celebration did you have? <gasps> well, you know, it was pretty great. Uh, the week that Loose came out, I was on a beach in Tuscany, sunbathing, and I found out it was number one, and I felt like a Russian spy, you know, away from it all. <laughs> and so it was. I was with my daughter and friends and family, and I really had a great. It was a. It was a great week to take a week off you know I really enjoyed that vacation mm -hmm. so uh, 
it, it's just been a big celebration because you have to enjoy it, you know, because this business, it comes, it goes, it's like a roller coaster ride. So when you're up, you're up and you embrace it, you know, mm -hmm. it's feast or famine. So I'm, <laughs> I'm feasting, you know? <laughs> you know. You know how to enjoy it, man. You know how to make it work. I do, I do, you know, that's, I guess, that's the great thing, you know, because it's like, I feel like I have my legs, you know, you tour for a long time, you start to be like a reptile, you know, you get this thick skin and then you can really navigate and I feel like I'm really flying and when I'm on stage, I enjoy it more. I don't shy away from the spotlight and now my daughter can enjoy it with me too. She's getting to the age where she's just so into music and dancing and she's so rhythmic and... Yeah, what's it like with the two of you? How much do you guys actually spend time dancing to music on a daily basis? We day? do, we do. The great thing is I, I've chosen to, to live the crazy life of travel with my toddler you know and it's it's a unique decision because we traveled around the world and she's got a lot of frequent flyer miles but she she really loves it and it's like a bonding experience because she's so musical you know and she's she's young enough to to, to be portable and, and, and really enjoy the ride along with me she's very lucky I bet you enjoying all that kind of music out and stuff and her and that creativity that probably more than anything else in the business side she's pr she'll probably learn all the fun stuff. And, I think so, you know. yeah. It's, it's that, you know, we're around creative people all the time, all the musicians in my band and all the wonderful dancers, and I've always got friends and family around me. I, I like it that way, and I'll invite my mom and my cousins, brothers, sisters, and it's like a traveling little gypsy party. <laughs> it really is. Talk about doing the shoot today, because I've seen you in different shoots and things over the years, and you look amazing. Talk about kind of your look now and what you're kind of doing. And you know, I don't know. I think I've evolved, you know, over the years. Mind you, in high school, I was always that girl who would show up with a different style of outfit every day, one day preppy, the next day a hippie, you know. So nowadays it, it's, it's easy for me to be a chameleon, you know, and lately I have to admit I love wearing dresses. I love tight, glamorous, beautiful dresses. I'm more into fashion. I'm enjoying the high-heeled shoes and the jewelry, experimenting with makeup and hair. I love it. I think I was always into fashion, you know, as a little girl I used to dress up in Barbie dolls and, and you know, have binders full of fashion designs. And so I think I'm just you know, embracing it a little bit more and just trying to have a lot of fun. Uh, this new album is rhythmic, it's sexy, and I think the image just evolved with the music while I was making it in Miami. You know, Miami's a, a very uh, sexy, sensual, stylish place that's full of life and energy, and I think uh, I'm just taking that with me everywhere I go. Mm -hmm. As people are, these other singles are coming out, and they're like, well, and, and yeah. How much fun is that to embrace all these different audiences around the world too? I do, album? yeah. I'm really, you know, I've always strived to be an international artist. It was always a goal of mine since I first picked up an instrument when I was a little girl. And doing collaborations with other artists from around the world, you know, that's what I think makes me different, you know, and, and makes me diverse. And I think it's what will keep me in this business for many, many years. I admire, you know, the great legends like Celia Cruz, who, you know, someone who kept singing it well into her 70s. I think that um, some of these recent collaborations with some of these Latin artists, for instance, in Puerto Rico, uh, with the hip hop group Calle 13, we, we shot a video and I actually paid for the video myself because I believed so much in the song and I wanted to just go down there and have fun because it's important for me to stay connected to my roots and really um, let the fans know that no matter how many number one hits I have, I'm still in it for the music, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there a sense now that you've kind of established yourself now all over the world and this album is such a success after the success that you kind of have the confidence that you're going to be around that long. <laughs> you have that feeling? It is safe to say that, yeah. Mm -hmm. After the third album, I do feel more established as an artist. I feel more established as a musician. And, you know, just an entertainer. I've, a lot of doors have opened up for me just in different things that I'm interested in, whether it's acting or behind the scenes or singing or writing, uh, writing for other artists, writing songs for other artists, which I have some projects going. Mm -hmm. um, it just feels like it's here to stay, you know, and I've... I've I will never say again that I want to quit or I'm not sure what I'm doing. My direction is completely renewed and I'm so happy and so sure I'm going to be an entertainer for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. And then the acting thing is exciting too. There's a lot of things we can tell you looking forward to soon, right? These small things. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Um, I've been working on the acting thing for two or three years. It's something I started as a hobby and it was a personal fear, a hump to get over like, oh my gosh, what if I'm not very good? And, you know, I was recently doing a, a funny skit, actually, on Mad TV, and it was like, you know, I popped, you know, the cherry of the fear. <laughs> it was like, okay, I'm, I'm doing it now. So in the future, yeah, you know, I, I talk to directors, I have friendships with different people, mm -hmm. and we're always trying to 
find a good project or, you know, more than anything, it's helped me from within to be a good performer and to embrace the spotlight and not be afraid of it and just jump in because you got to do it. You know, you only live once, so mm -hmm. you got to, you got to, you got to walk through every open door, I think. Yeah, I think that's what's going to be exciting for people that are Nelly Furtado fans now at this point is that you're going to be surprising people. Now you prove it with this album that you can pretty much do anything. So is that kind of Thank exciting you. to know that? You're going to be challenging yourself this next year. You can probably tell your fans that. Yeah, yeah, I'm extremely excited about the future. You know, I've even, um, there's all sorts of new projects coming up. You know, I recently did a great, another club song that will rival Promiscuous <laughs> with Timbaland and another special guest, I won't reveal, coming up on Timbaland's new album, which comes out in December. So even that was really fun to record, you know, in Virginia. That's the stuff that keeps me excited, keeps me, keeps me moving. So for me, it's all about doing it moving forward and on to the next thing, you know? Yeah, you were in some cool circles before, but now it seems like you have a good group of people. You're going to be doing some exciting things with Tim and everyone else that he's involved with as well. Yeah, you know, yeah, working with, with Tim was, was great for me because, you know, we, I think we were, we were destined to work together for many years and we finally made it happen. It's like an explosion, you know? It's like yeah. an alchemy between us. So mm -hmm. we definitely have a lot of musical goals and we've been talking about them. And I think we'll continue to surprise people for yeah. the next while. Yeah, so doing do these covers specifically for the international. Yeah. How much fun yeah. is that? Oh, like a shoot like today where I'm shooting, you know, a cover that goes, it's going to run in 50 countries, you know, uh, Cosmo and Harper's Bazaar. Just thrilling, you know, because I've traveled the world and, you know, I, I see what's out there. And, and every airport I go to, I see the massive media and magazines. And to know that I'll be a part of it is, is, is exciting. I also, I love, you know, the glamour of it all, the sexiness of it all. I really embrace it. And it's always kind of what I dreamed of doing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thanks for wrapping me up. Can you do a quick thing for our extra in Espanol for our, uh, yeah. for our short one page? Please look into the camera and say in Spanish if you can, just I'm Nelly Furtado and, you, and you're watching extra in Espanol. Okay. Yeah. Hola, ¿qué tal? Yo soy Nelly Furtado y estás viendo extra en Espanol. Besos. Thank you, Nelly. You're welcome. Good seeing you again. You too. That was awesome. Whoa, ah, oh, yes, thank you. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. Uh, you've kissed your kids for me. I will. <laughs> Neve's Neve's been around a lot lately. She's been out in Santa Monica this week. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, she was on the video shoot. She was mimicking my, my dance moves. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I heard that she takes it in though. She sits in the director's chair and actually is very quiet and focuses on it. She has a genuine interest in it all.